salute them with the Holy Ghost. Let them know that the church is a Christ.
to love their wives as their own bodies. He that loveth his wife loveth himself. For no man ever yet hated his own flesh, but nourisheth it and cherisheth it, even as the Lord the church. For we are members of his body, of his flesh, and of his bones. Verse 31 with me, please. For this cause shall a man leave his father and mother, and shall be joined unto his wife, and they too shall be one flesh. This is a great mystery, but I speak concerning Christ and the church. Nevertheless, let every one of you in particular so love his wife, even as himself, and the wife, See that she reverence her husband. God bless you. May God bless the readers and the heeders of his holy and his divine will. This morning we want to talk with you from the subject. Lord, help my husband love me. Lord, help. My husband loved me. Nothing destroys the marital relationship worse than the lack of love between husband and wife. Love is literally the foundational element upon which the marriage is built. And without it, the relationship becomes nothing more than a reoccurring routine. Love in the marriage is literally its life source. For if the marriage is going to grow and prosper, love has to be the main artery that supplies the rest of the body what it needs to survive. If your marriage is trying to exist on lust in want, because lust only has its basis steeped in visual attraction, and once the attraction is gone, so is the marriage. If your marriage is trying to exist on convenience, it won't. Because conveniences tend to become burdens after a certain amount of independence is attained. And once an individual no longer needs you as a convenient asset, they'll leave and go their own way. So love, pure Unconditional love has to be the ruling and the governing factor. Notice that out of all the things that God could have instructed the husbands to do to and for their wives, God instructed them to love their wives as Christ loved the church. Why would God feel the need? to give the husbands specific instructions on how to love their wives. Why would God deem it necessary to provide a written record instructing the husbands to what degree their wives ought to be loved by them? Right. It is because God knows in his infinite wisdom and knowledge that men in general literally have no idea how to properly and adequately love a woman. Right. Many of us think that we do, but God knows that we don't. Man thinks that he has all the answers when it comes to loving a woman properly. But obviously God sees with us that there's something missing. Right. Our understanding on how to properly and adequately love this creature that he has created for our own benefit. Right. Many men don't understand that and so therefore they think that they are the man. Right. They think that they know how to be the Don Juans when it comes to romanticism. Most men, if you ask them, you would think that they are the Romeos above Romeos because they know how 